can't break through Frozen hope, denied to hold My hands are turning blue and I'm stone cold Cause I fall too deep Searching on the ocean floor for something I can keep I'm looking for a lighthouse Yeah, people working here and there to see F doing live on FB. 
And you know what? This is very special. This, this because this is in conjunction with our special rule show for today, the Focus Point 360 Advanced Primary Eye Care Campaign, which is happening starting from actually yesterday, 27th of April all the way until 7 May 2023, which is about one more week to go. And today is just the second day of our event here at Wan Utama. All right. So, what do you feel? Have you? Is it your first time here to this campaign? Yeah, yeah. Um, today is my first day here. Uh, it's yep. very exciting. So many machines here. Yep. Do you feel very new to you as in you are doing a live here in a shopping mall? Is it your first time? In a shopping mall, yes. <laughs> in a shopping mall, yes. Okay, so at the same time, we want to say hi to all the friends, all the audience from our FB Live as well. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. In case you just came in, we are now having the FB Live session and we will be sharing a few very interesting topics later on because this is in conjunction with our special route show for today brought to you by Focus Point, the 360 Advanced Primary Ice Care Program. And we are having the live show here at one Utah right now okay so I mean we have been talking about this 360 of the the pri advanced primary eye care program but um, I'm not so sure did you come across this before I mean or any of the friends on the fa Facebook um, did you heard of this program before I mean personally are you have you heard about that yes 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 definitely, yeah. definitely. yeah do, do you mind to share what is it all about to our friends here from the FB so there is a eight-step eye test here. It's pretty interesting. You know, there's yep. all the machines. You know, they can even scan your eye prescription. Exactly. Uh, the, the retina, you know, the back of the eye to check the health of your eye. You know, like yep. diabetic retinopathy, glaucoma, you know, Cheng Kong Ngan. Yep. And then the cataract Ngan Mok, you know. Yep. All, all in all, I would say, you know what, this is a very special program because um, we are actually encourage all the people to do their eyes health to do the eyes check eyes care because normally you heard about people like they often go to the hospital to do the health screening to do the medical checkup but we actually seldom heard people talk about their eyes health yeah. okay their eyes yen ching it's the free. yes because for today's campaign uh, we want to encourage people to actually prioritize your eyes health i mean all the friends here um if you are wearing the spec or if you are wearing a contact lens you know what this is a good chance for you to know about more on your eyes health and over here we are advocating you know what a few things one is the thing uh, uh advocating the accessible mm. accessible we do have the affordable and yes, available yes. eyes care for all the Malaysian. Why do we say it's accessible? Because Focus you know what? Point is focus point. Everywhere. Basically everywhere. It's like you are walking in the shopping mall, wall, wall, hey, focus point. And you're going out from the home, hey, focus point. Because you know what? Over here in the Malaysia, ladies and gentlemen, we have more than 180 outlets here in Malaysia for focus point. Wow. So it's basically everywhere and it's affordable. Affordable, why you say so? Because it's not just affordable, I would say, because it's a FOC things. Mm. Free of charge screening. Okay? Yeah, Where yeah, yeah. it's not just for this uh, uh, root show only, but it's also for all the other outlets here in Malaysia where you can just walk in to do a free eye screening at the Focus Point outlet. And it's all available for all the Malaysian out there. Yes. All right. So it's uh, something very special that we wanted to actually um, uh, introduce or encourage people on the FB line and also the on the ground audience here to come and join us. Because over here, ladies and gentlemen, just in case you just came in, ladies and gentlemen, this route show, the 360 of the Advanced Primary Eye Square Program, is just happening for the second day at Wan Utama. Okay, so if you are staying nearby, you know what? Um, you can always spend a few hours. Or bring your few, friends. Yeah, bring your friends, bring your family, come over you to, to do the eyes check. Okay, because and this one is all the FOC, free of charge thing. All right. So, and, and when we talk about the eye screening, I think something very eye catching is that because over here at our road show is not just a typical type of the screening. And I would say it's like a ultimate one. Ultimate one. Ultimate. Ultimate. It's like, you know, if you, if you have a mark for that, it will be a hundred marks. Okay? Why do we say so? What, what, what are we having for the eyes checking service here? It's very complete. So not only prescription, like we mentioned earlier. Yep, yep, yep. Eye health, the back of the eye and the front of the eye is also very yep. important. So and you can do everything here. Yeah, exactly. And you saw, you know what? The very important thing is that it can, throughout the eye screening, it can help to detect a few uh, probably a potential eye disease, yeah. something like the refractive arrow, 
when we used to call that the Si Li Jiao Zhen, your power. All right. And also, we do have a cataract, Pai Nei Chang. I think it's quite mm, common Bai for Zhang, now. Yeah. Uh, and Qing Yan. Glaucoma. Yeah, yeah. And I think one of the more important, uh, one of the most common eye disease now, I would say the dry eyes. Dry eyes. Dry yes. eyes is really, really common now, you know? Correct, correct. And Especially, it's very annoying, you know? Exactly. Yeah. Even, even, you know, you old days, uh, back to old days, normally we'll have like people we have uh, probably 40 years old have this kind of the dry eyes. But I think the trend is getting younger. Yeah, yeah. We yeah. use too much screen, you know, like handphone and all that. Forget to blink. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. so, you know, some, some more the kids nowadays, they need to actually spend more time on, the, on their study by correct, using digital. Correct, so this correct. is very, very common now. So, you know, um, for all the parents out there, you can always bring your, your, your kids to come over to our show here to, to just have a, have a chat. And most importantly, everyone here, yeah, I mean, uh, just for your info, over here at our root show, we have a, a one-to-one consultancy service from our Optom. Okay? Yes, yes. Optometrists, they are here. You know what? We are not doing like a bow, you know, like one, one a 10 for 10, no. Over here at our show, it's very one to personalized. One. Yes. Very personalized, and someone is an FOC. So everyone here, if you have some time today, you know what? Um, feel free to just check it out here at our show, okay? Yes. And you know what? Um, Hannah, it's actually here for a reason, right? Yes. Yes. Are we coming to the reason already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, before before we coming <laughs> yes. to that, also at the same time, all the friends, if you just came in, we are having this FB live session, and also to all the friends, uh, to the on ground audience here, we are having this FB live session. And for now, ladies and gentlemen, we would like to also introduce you this special guest because this campaign, this FB line, we are partnering with Azilo and uh, we are using their latest state of art eye screening equipment to help everyone basically to conduct the eye screening. And for today, ladies and gentlemen, please join me to welcome Miss Hannah Ng, the Education and Professional Service Manager of Asilo. Let's welcome. Hey, thank you, thank you. Okay, so uh, very glad to be here. Um, yep. Yes, and of course, we are here to talk about light. Yeah, okay? I mean, uh, to us, like, like the layman, uh, the light, it's... Um, I would say it's, uh, for me, it's a very surface understanding. So for today on the friends on the FB Live also, you can take the chance to actually learn a bit about what it's actually like yeah. and what that's, how does it impact our life. Exactly. Okay, so uh, let's talk about light. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to ask at the end of the session. Okay, we have a little uh, short session for Q&A. Okay, so very simple, light. Is sight possible without light? Oh, I think no, right? No. Very simple. Before you sleep, what do you do? You turn off the lights, right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. So really, light is very, very important. Without mm. light, there is no sight. Ow. Mm -hmm. So now, let me just explain to you a little bit. How does our eyes see things? Okay? So very simple. Now, you see this color chart here. I believe yep. everyone's seen this, right? So yeah. how do we see a color as a color? That oh. color is reflected back to us, okay? So, for example, if right now you, I'm wearing blue, you yep. see blue, right? Yeah, that's So, what blue. does it mean? Reflected color in blue. Yeah, so, you, so? you are, the color that's reflected back to you is what you see. It's a light. Yeah. So, now, black. What do you think is black? How do we perceive black? Uh, mm. How do we perceive black? Because... To us, it's like ordinary, it's a black. Yeah, so like all the color is going to absorb, you know. Absorb. No so black. there's no reflecting thing back to you, yes. then you see black. Uh, oh. So white is the opposite. If all the colors are being reflected, you will see white. Oh, Quite okay. interesting, right? Very our interesting. Eyes. I mean, yeah. this never comes to, to our mind because when we're born, this is black, <laughs> this is red, and we never exactly. find out why. Yeah. So, but like we mentioned, vision is very important, right? Mm. So, 80% of all the information uh, that we can process, we have to look, we have to see. Yep. Okay? So, for example, a child. Did you know that uh, children need vision to see, uh, to learn? Yeah, yeah, Obviously, yeah. Obviously, yes, right? Obvious, so, no. you go to school, you sit at the back, blackboard, you need to see a whiteboard or blackboard. Yes, yes. So, like, uh, I would say that, you know, this information, okay, 80% is our eyes. 
So very important how we look after our eyes. Yeah, yes, exactly. Okay. So what I'm going to uh, show you next, right, is some of the insights. Like, what are people talking about when we say light? Okay. So natural light, natural sunlight, actually is the main issue when we drive, right? Exactly. Seventy percent of um, this study, yeah, okay, actually complain that you know natural light is very very annoying. Yeah. yeah, especially nowadays, you know, the, the, the weather is actually very, very hot. Yes. And the sun is like scorching. You know, no, I can't even open up my eyes. Yeah, and like, yeah, so I heard some annoying. places it's like 40 degrees. Yeah, yeah. cannot tahan, cannot tahan. Yeah, mm. so I think another issue is, right, have we, okay, I believe everyone here has a handphone, correct? Yep, uh, everyone so. has a handphone, has a computer screen, has a TV at home. Did you know that 58% of all the respondents of this particular study, they actually find that all these screens are actually quite glaring too. Ah. Yeah. And the interesting things, did you know that 15 years old to 40 years old, you're more sensitive to light? What about, what about those like after 40s? Ah, after 40s. Do you know why after 40 less sensitive to light? Be because they're asking, they, asking you back. <laughs> <laughs> because their metabolism rate slower. Is that mm. is that relevant? So actually, it's more of our crystalline lens. Okay, huh? so basically, uh, the clear part of our eyes, like a lens inside, right? Yeah. It becomes less clear once ah. you pass forty. So because that, it can help you filter away some of the light. Oh, oh. okay. That's, that's why new. Unlock, right? That's yeah. new. That's new. That's new. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is basically some insight to you know see which category you fall it under, and then you can get your consultations later. Okay? Oh. Yeah. So if we move on, okay, like we mentioned, right, eighty-two percent of all respondents of this particular study, right, they are using more than one screen at the same time. It's so what does that mean? Normal, Handphone la. and laptop normal. at the same time, right? Normal. 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 Yeah. So, and a person on average spends six hours a day on digital screen. Yeah, let me ask you, what's the first thing you do in the morning? Morning, uh, I will check out my phone, see whether I got any WhatsApp coming yeah. in, or maybe not. The first thing I do in the morning because I was being alarmed by the uh, ding, 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 alarm. You, you turn it off, right? Yeah, turn it off. What's the last thing you see before you sleep? Oh yeah, I watch the video, then slowly become sleepy, then I sleep. Yeah, so you yeah. can imagine how much time we spend on screens, right? The first thing you do is screen, the last thing you see also screen. Yeah. So I think six hours is very conservative. I'm sure we spend much more than yeah, that. Yeah, I quite up this six hours. <laughs> yeah. It's actually more. Exactly. So just because of this, right, even up to 65 years old, okay, they, these people are actually affected by digital eye strain. Right? Uh, Understandable, right? More than six hours a day. Even my grandma know how to use iPad. Eh? Yeah She's la. watching all the K-drama on Netflix. <laughs> so you can imagine, right? Digital eye strain is not just for young people. Even yeah. older people also included. Yeah? Yeah, but I think this is very, very common now. Mm. Yeah. Okay. So now we talk a little bit more about what is light. Yeah? So when we talk about light, actually, there's three parts to it. We have UV. We have visible light, okay, and we also have infrared. So I think it's very common UV, right? We always yep. say uh, UV very high, UV, uh, UV yep. protection, sunscreen. UV is very harmful. Infrared. That's why the UV protection, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So not only our skin is important, yep. we also need to protect our eyes from UV. Uh, ah, yeah. this is new. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you have a sunglasses? <laughs> yeah, I do. Are you wearing it? But it's it? just, <laughs> just for action only. I mean, just uh, for... To make it look more handsome. Okay. That's all. Okay. Now I will explain to you all further later why wearing sunglasses is important. Okay. Yep. So of course, when we come to visible, visible light is just now we mentioned all those things that's being reflected to back to us. That's visible light. That's how we perceive things. Okay. And of course, infrared. Uh, infrared will be something like the sun heat. That's mm. like heat lah. Okay. Now if we go into further details. Okay. So when we talk about UV, I think um, the ladies might be very uh, familiar with this, right? Okay, what kind of UV we are protecting our skin from? Same thing, we have UVC, UVB, and UVA. Now, fortunately for us, okay, we know that UVC, uh, uh, sorry, UVC is actually the most harmful one, right? It cannot go back. Okay, UVC is the most harmful, but thank God for providing us with the ozone layer. So, actually, we have filtered a lot of bad UV. Yep, yep, yeah, okay? Yep. So, now, if we look into blue light. So, during the pandemic, right, actually, the word blue light was the most searched word, you know? Yo, how come? 
everybody at home, uh, all the Zoom meetings, oh, okay. all the online classes, even children exposed to a lot more computers and screens yeah. than before. Yeah. So you can imagine, that's why blue light uh, was the most searched word. So maybe you might be wondering, hey, blue light all bad one? Uh? Yeah, yeah, because they, they, they have all these like the anti blue light, blue, blue yeah. light, you know, fan so, guang, all these things. Yeah, you know? so actually, there's a lot of, uh, I think, misunderstanding towards blue light. Ah. So basically, blue light we have uh, categorized into uh, blue Two. violet light as mm. well as blue turquoise light. So blue violet light is the one that's potentially harmful. Oh. Okay, and blue turquoise light is actually beneficial to us. So I will go into a little bit more details about that in a little bit. Okay, now, ah, like I mentioned earlier, right? So um, the main source of UV, where do you think it comes from? The main source, uh, like from the sunlight. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. So the main source of UV, the main source of blue light is actually the sun. Oh. Yeah, so um, interestingly, okay, uh, we are very well protected from UVC, like I mentioned. Yep. Thank God for the ozone. It filters out quite a lot of, I would say, uh, harmful UV light, okay? Yep. So same for blue light, okay? Most of the blue light, actually the main source of blue light, is also from the sun. Mm, yeah? Part of it. Uh, and actually very little blue light uh, comes from our digital devices uh. Uh, that actually affect us most. Okay, so another thing is, uh, don't think just because you're not using screen, you're not exposed to blue, you know. Because it's the main source is the sun, right? Yeah. If you stand, or if your house got a lot of windows, uh, you sit too near your window, you are also exposed to blue light. But is it really, um, just wondering, uh, mm. um, maybe some of my friends in the Facebook, Facebook Live might wonder also, it's... Um, the, the sunlight coming through from the window, the, what, what we so-called the blue light, mm. is that really, is that beneficial or something harmful? So when the sunlight comes in, right, yeah. there is no only good blue light or bad blue light come in. It's, yeah. it's, a, it's a spectrum. Everything yeah. comes, yeah. right? So that's why we need to filter a portion of the blue light. Ah. We don't need to filter all the blue light. Because blue light is potentially harmful only. We don't know what is the actual long, uh, long-term harm of blue yeah. light. Yeah. Yeah. However, what we do know is that blue light, because it's very high energy, it causes a lot of glare. So ah. it might contribute to something what we call as computer vision syndrome or eye strain. That's why. That's yeah. why. That's so, why. So a lot of people uh, that use screens, they will say, hey, maybe I want blue light protection. But they forgot, actually, the more important one is actually UV protection. From, yeah, the UV yeah. protection. Yeah, so you must not forget UV or so. Yep, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Okay. So if I move on, so like we uh, mentioned earlier, really the sunlight is the main source of UV. Uh, fortunately for us, only 5% of UVB actually reaches the earth and of course 95% reaches uh, is UVA okay so uh, that one we are quite uh, I would say lucky uh, thank yeah. God for that and did you know that artificial lights okay traditional artificial lights all this there's actually no UV from there that is actually harmful so a lot of people say hey, indoor maybe got UV uh, yeah 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 but if you are too near the window, then yeah lah. But, but we, we will get thin, right? I mean, it will get, get darker even though in the indoor light, right? But that, that necessary due to the UV. Is that so? I, yes. <laughs> yeah. uh, probably mostly it's infrared because it's the heat from ah, the light. No yeah, wonder. It's not so much of UV for artificial lighting. Okay, so yeah. no, no UV for indoor lights. Yes. Yeah, that's for sure. I mean, for all the friends on the Facebook Live also, no UV in the indoor lights, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so we move on. Now, some of the things that affect uh, UV exposure, oh? like we know... Uh, Season. Seasons, right? So lucky for us, we are in Malaysia, every day is summer. summer. <laughs> but then again, every day summer means what? That's the strongest UV. <laughs> Alright, so spring, summer, okay, uh, really, really, that is when you, are, you need the most uh, UV protection. Mm. So friends, if you are traveling, make sure you have uh, eye protection, okay? That's yeah. very important. Like for us in Malaysia, we have no choice. We have no choice. Yeah, the, the UV radiation, it's there. Yes. That's why we need to have some protection. You know? Correct, correct. Yep. Okay. So if we look, the next one is actually being on the equator, right? So we know uh, Malaysia, Singapore, Thailand, Indonesia, we're all on the equator. Trump. So we yeah. are the forever summer, right? We only have uh, dry heat and wet heat. So right now, actually, we're quite wet. Nah? Wet, super wet. <laughs> yeah. So basically, this is 
really, really to let everybody know that uh, UV protection or sun protection is something that we need regardless of the season. Yep, yep, yep. Especially in Malaysia. So please wear your sunglass more. Okay? Exactly. I will wear sunglass whenever, in, regardless indoor or outdoor. Mm, very good. <laughs> Indoor a bit much, huh? Okay. Yeah. So I think this one will be quite relevant to most of us here. Uh, how many of us are friends here have been to Genting? Everyone, Gen right? Genting, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So you can imagine Genting and you know uh, back down in Klang Valley. Yep. Where do you think the UV is higher? Uh, the one nearest to the sun. <laughs> nearest to the sun, right? <laughs> the sun, yeah. right. <laughs> so basically, as long as you are higher, okay, your elevation is higher, oh. every 300 meter, UV exposure actually increased by 4%. <laughs> Okay, so meaning if you're in Cameron, if you're in Gunting, ah. uh, if you go to some Mount Everest or whatever, sun protection is very, very important. UV protection is very important. That is very new. No wonder whenever you go to the, you know, the higher place like Gunting, Cameron, yeah. you know, you, you feel the sun is actually burning. Yeah, you actually burn, burn faster. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it's, it feel very hot and not comfortable. And that's the reason why, I think. Yep. Correct. Yeah, okay. So uh, another thing is actually the time. Okay. Did you know, even though the morning sun doesn't feel very hot, yeah. it's actually where the UV is strongest. Okay? So, 8 to 10 a.m., UV is the highest, as well as in the afternoon between 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Did you know that? So, it's not noon. Uh, people say, hey, noon, very hot, very hot, the sun yeah. is above your head. But actually, UV exposure is highest earlier. This is very surprising. Afternoon. This is very yeah. surprising. Yeah, yeah. Yep, yep. So really, really, it's a, it's really worth uh, making sure that you are having your eyes protected. Yep, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So next, UV bounces off surfaces. Okay. So things like water as well as sun actually reflects a lot of UV. So for example, you know, if we go to the the beach. Okay, not only the sand, right? The sand will reflect UV also. Okay, water also reflect UV. So basically, it's very, very important when we're going to have fun, we cannot forget UV protection. UV is everywhere. UV is everywhere. <laughs> even more with water. And even if you go, like, let's say, if you're a very outdoors type, uh, yep. Putrajaya, there's a lot of water sports, right? Yeah. If you do jet skiing and all that, please, please make sure you have a good eye protection. Yeah, UV protection, sunglasses. Yeah. Yes, 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 yep, yes. Yep. Mm. Okay, so these are some of the things that we need to take care, especially you talk about UV. Now, um, so basically, I'll just go through very quickly on how, what are the effects of UV on the eyes, okay? So we always talk about UV, UV, but how does that affect our eye? Uh, number one, short-term damage, like if you suddenly get exposed to a lot of UV, very simple, you get sunburn, no? Yeah. Huh? You get yeah. sunburn, you get photokeratitis, eyelid sunburn, conjunctivitis, your eye become red. Okay, so these are the short-term uh, problem. Yep. Long-term, of course, we know, right? Long-term UV exposure will happen. Cancer. Okay, uh. so these are the long-term ones. Then, of course, cataract. Right? We always say, ngan mok, ngan mok. Some people get cataract much earlier than others. Why? Uh. Because they are exposed to too much UV. Too much sunlight in a sense. Too much sunlight, correct. So uh, usually people like, uh, um, I would say fishermen, yeah. uh, farmers, they usually get cataract much earlier compared to the average person. Yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. So things like uh, pingicula or even pterygium is actually like a, a skin growing over the eye, okay? It's this long-term exposure to UV. Okay, so, so please, please remember to have uh, UV protection. Yeah, but just one question. Mm. I'm asking on behalf of all the parents, uh, it's like all those like cataract, right? I mean, uh, it's a trend getting younger. Mm. It, I mean, do we have this problem Actually, in Malaysia? Actually, I, I would say, right, as long as you live long enough, everybody will get cataract. Yeah. It's just a matter of when. Yes, but, but mm. the, is a trend getting younger in Malaysia? Do we have this problem? Mm. I would actually think that the trend is getting later, later because we are getting more and more indoor, you know. Ah. We have very little UV exposure. Okay. Uh, and then a lot of times people feel very scared to do a cataract operation. However, the earlier you do your cataract operation, the faster the recovery is. If you're younger, you recover faster, ma. 
correct? Yep. So, and then you can uh, experience much better vision for longer. Exactly. So, so if you have, uh, if your doctor deems that it's time, please, you know, just do it and then you, know, you won't regret it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And one more thing very interesting is that, you know what, and also because we are getting more and more people on the ground uh, audience here, uh, mm. just in case you just arrived, we are having this FB live. Uh, and you know what, we have uh, uh, FOC of the ice screening here at our root show. So feel free to join. And same goes to all the FB live audience as well. If it's just joining, we are having this live with our Hannah in the house today. And we are talking about the lights, yeah? All right. Yeah, okay. So really, cataract is very important. And you know, if you're above 50 years old, it's really, really important to go and get checked out, have a baseline, yep. get a you know, picture of your retina taken. Uh, and it's all free today. So I highly recommend you to do it because it's not cheap if you do it in a hospital. Yep. Yeah. So take this chance and, and give it a go. Okay, so I'll just go through the, the rest, okay? So basically what we mentioned, uh, blue light. So blue light, we have two categories. Potentially harmful, okay, it's from 400 to about 455. And, you know, it's a spectrum. Blue color is not just one color. It's a wide spectrum, okay? So we want to filter uh, the so-called potentially harmful blue light, okay? And, of course, beneficial blue light. I will come into a little bit of what beneficial blue light is. Okay, so now when we talk about uh, blue light, like we mentioned earlier, so when we say cataract, right, which part becomes blur is actually this yeah. part. Okay, this this part, this is the, the crystalline lens. Okay, ah. so that's where your uh, where people get cataract over time. Okay, now so in a ten year old child versus a forty year old child, okay, uh, of course because of all the UV exposures and such, our lens has become slightly yellow already. Oh, oh so because of that, okay, um, you can filter quite a lot of blue light. Okay, so you can see the transmission is from 45% to, uh, sorry, 54% to 41%. Okay. So, so, so meaning to say the younger child, they actually exposed more correct. to the UV. So, younger children actually need light. more blue light or UV protection. Yeah. So, basically, eye protection for children needs to be all round. It's not just, uh, you know, we need to take more care in terms of yep, children's yep, eye. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this one we just go through quickly. So like we mentioned, blue light, there's the good and the bad, okay? So when we talk about the good, let's talk about good first. Now, blue light, uh, remember, it's from the sun, okay? The main source of blue light is from the sun. So what does the sun actually give us, right? Uh, makes you more alert, okay? It helps you see better, okay? Biological clock. And also, of course, it will affect your mood, right? Yeah. Yeah, like, have you heard of seasonal depression? <laughs> ah, so, like, in a Western country, when, yeah. you know, forever dark, you see that's when most of the crime and depression happen. So, good thing for Malaysia, we are forever bright. Yeah. For now, yes. For now. <laughs> for now. Yeah, so, so really, yeah, blue light uh, or the sunlight is very important for our mm. human growth and all that. And, of course, if we talk about what's so bad about it, okay, uh, potentially it might accelerate the aging of the retina, okay, but we don't know exactly what the long-term effect of blue light to the retina. However, what we do know that due to uh, blue light being shorter wavelength, more power, it will cause more glare. Okay, and then it will, of course, affect you in terms of eye strain. Okay, mm. so nothing too uh, serious, nothing too bad. Again, UV is the main thing that we need to take into consideration. Yes. Okay? Now, um, now, when we talk about what are the recommendations we have in terms of, uh, I would say, protection, of course, we have lens material that can absorb UV now. So 100% UV protection, you can you buy, uh, you get the correct lens, okay? It will give you 100% UV protection by just absorption of the material. Another way to protect from UV is, of course, through a lens coating. So you wear your glasses, right? There's always a coating in front and behind. Yep. So this actually protects your eye from UV. Yep, yep, yeah? yep. Okay, similarly for uh, blue light, okay, it's the same. We also have absorption as well as a coating to reflect. Reflect, yep. Correct, okay. So, but if you combine these two technologies, right, reflect and absorb, the lens will become very yellow. Yeah, uh, somehow it will become like very thick in a way. Uh, 
Um, not very, but but usually I will say this is an overkill. You don't yep. need no, you don't need so much protection. Yeah. Because the more you filter, the uh. more it will affect your your how you perceive the color blue. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So my recommendation will be in the next page. Okay. Very sim very simple. Okay. Uh, at Silo, uh, we have very good products. Something like our blue filter system or blue UV capture. It, yep. um, it already the material itself can filter the blue light as yep. well as hundred percent. UV protection. Ah. So you don't need to add on other uh, lens coating. Uh, otherwise, it makes the whole thing very yellow and yellow. Very blue. Yeah. Not, so, not looking good also. Doesn't right? look very good, yes, mm. yes. So another thing that is quite um, good is actually what we call transition lenses, which are photochromic lenses. So indoor with very low UV uh, exposure, it's very clear. But when mm. you go outside, it's light intelligent. It will become dark when you're exposed to UV. <laughs> so very convenient, like yes. people like you forget to wear glasses, want to look like Taiwan, and then... Go into the shopping mall, become a dark sunglass. <laughs> yeah, you don't, don't have to worry about that, okay? So, um, if we talk about coatings, if you are interested in coatings, yep. okay, we have Crizal. Okay, Crizal is actually quite, uh, quite comprehensive. We have many, many different types. So, later on, if you do an eye test, uh, our optometrist will actually take you through what's available and what's the best solution for you. So, another thing that you might find interesting, you see ESPF 35. So, wow. I think a lot of people here who use the sunblock will sunblock, hear sunblock, ESPF, sunblock. EPF, 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 yeah, Does it apply like that, for right? the glass as well? So, for SLO, we have a special thing called eye sun protection factor. So, compared to without wearing glasses, okay, all our lenses now come with 35 times more protection. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> yeah, it's like you apply a sunblock on the glasses. Exactly, okay? <laughs> so, your eyes is uh, quite protected that way. Yep, okay? yep. Now, um, okay, so just to take you through very quickly, when we talk about uh, transitions lenses or even photochromic lenses, there's two types. Yep. Yeah, okay, we have the Gen 8, we have something called Extra Active. So you can see Gen 8 has seven colors there. So it's wow. no longer just like, you know, last time people see, see photo gray, you know? uh, purple, purple, like that, very ugly, you know? Yeah, proper uh, so yellowish a bit, uh, you know? Correct, yeah. This is something for special because, you know what, I mean, I mean, they can customize the color. Correct. They can pick the color. You can pick the color and ah. there's actually seven colors and you can match them uh, with the frame you choose to get the best uh, results. Oh you know? my God. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And if you draw drive a lot, we have a special uh, range called Extra Active that yep. even inside the car is able to change a bit darker compared uh, to uh, Gen 8, it's completely clear indoors. So yeah. I would say it's something that actually uh, protect your eyes at the same time, you can stay cool, stay fashion. Yeah, of in course. A sense. Correct, correct. Wow. So pe for people with prescription and wearing glasses all the time, it's very inconvenient to keep changing yep. out, yep. right? So in my opinion, the best option is actually uh, extra active. Uh, and personally, I love the color green. Okay, because it really, um, when it becomes dark, it improves my contrast. Ah. It's, it's a really nice color. Yeah. Okay, okay. Good to know. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so I'll just move on. So actually today, really the key takeaway is, you know, eye protection, sun... Uh, sunglasses is very important mm. so please please uh, wear your sunglasses uh, yes. when you're outdoors okay and of course please 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 remember that uh, you you need to have an eye test okay once you reach the age of uh, 50 you need to have a baseline you need to establish a baseline for your eyes so meaning uh, okay at 50 years old and onwards your eyes will start changing Okay, things like your systemic diseases, uh, high blood pressure, sugar level. That's when people start caring yep. and, and yep. doing regular eye tests, uh, regular health checks, right? So the same, when you reach a certain age, uh, your eyes, you also must do annual eye tests. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. All right, so... So I'm done. <laughs> yeah, <once laughs> Thank again, you so much. Thank you yeah. so much to Hannah yeah. for the sharing today. Can we have a clap for, he for her? Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. All right. And also to all the Facebook friends and also all the friends out there, you know what? We are now having the Q&A session, okay? So um, anyone here, if you have any question, because we have an expert here, okay? Feel free to just um, let us know your if you have any questions so we can get the experts to help you to answer. And same goes to all the friends here who are watching the FB Live. If you have any questions, please drop down your... Your, your questions at the comment box there and then someone will pass me a question and we'll get an expert to help to, to answer the questions. Huh? Okay, so now, open to the floor. Anyone has any question about eye care? Anything? Got question already. Yep. Oh, yeah, we have questions already. 
Okay. Alright, we have this question. May I know uh, all the sunglasses come with a UV protection? Now, that's a very, Im- very good question. Oh? Uh. Sometimes we see uh, Pasar Malam also sell sunglasses, right? Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. So what makes uh, uh, sunglasses expensive and what makes sunglasses cheap? Of course, number one, the quality. La, the quality of the lens. Okay, so make sure you get your sunglasses from reputable sources. Okay, because, you know, we want to make sure your lens has uh, 100% UV protection. Imagine, if you wear a sunglasses without UV protection, you know, your pupil dilates, right, when there's uh-huh. very dark. So uh-huh. behind your sunglasses, your pupil size becomes very big. And you're actually exposed to more UV. Okay, so please, please make sure you go to places like Focus Point where, you know, you can really shop uh, with uh, confidence that everything is 100% original. Yep, okay, so meaning that it's not all the sunglasses come it's with UV protection. Okay, yeah. the lenses answer, are not made the same. Yep, to answer the question from our FB friends here. Thank okay? you for the question. We have one more question here, okay? How can I check is my eyes sensitive to the light? Okay, so... Question uh, in Mandarin, uh, oh, uh, I want to know how uh, yep. Okay, I'm going to switch back to English, okay? I don't want to butcher the Mandarin. <laughs> okay, so uh, very, very good question. Actually, yep. we have a special uh, machine that can actually measure uh, light sensitivity. Okay, so what it does is actually, uh, it's something like a VR, and it actually exposes your eyes to different types of light. Warm light, cold light, and variable light, and it actually can measure how sensitive your eye is to light. Uh, yeah. because, because you know what, I mean, for all of us, like laymen, uh, mm. we, we might be just feel that, okay, not comfortable to this light, mm. but we don't know whether we are to that sensitive. I mean, it's good that we yeah. do have uh, machines to actually help to do this checking. Yep. Is it available here? Yes, yes, it's available here. Ah, yeah. So right. uh, please, please check it out. So another way, you know, like we know under there's an under underground parking in uh, one U, right? So when you come up, sometimes if the, the sun is very bright, you will yeah. feel that, ooh, oh, my eyes hurt a little bit. So that's actually oh. part of very light sensitive. Okay. Yeah? So if you're experiencing that right now, quickly come over to this focus, fo- uh, focus point uh, yep. event and really get checked out. A full yeah, yeah. eye test here. Okay, the one-to-one yeah. optom here. Okay, so now, again, we... Um, is there any questions? Any question? Yes, come on. Can we have the... Yeah, we'll pass the mic. No worry. Come. Yep. Yeah, nowadays, uh, there are more and more of us who are changing to LED light. Okay. Uh, how is it for the eyes? Because I find LED very glaring when I try to read. For normal purposes, outside is fine. Yeah. You know, but for reading, it is very uh, painful for the eyes. Yeah. Okay, so that's a very good question. So I, I, I would believe that first and foremost, uh, it is the position of your light, okay? So um, we always usually want to position the light in front of us, but not directly in front of us. So basically, um, getting, a, 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 I would say, a table lamp, okay, would be a much better uh, option, okay, to illuminate what you're looking at versus having, like, you know, like big, direct LED in front of you. So like for, for myself, I also recently went through uh, a home renovation and I think I made the, the same mistake too. Uh. Uh, I was very worried that my house would be too dark. So I fit everything with the brightest light possible. And so uh, same, I'm also a bit suffering at this point. Uh, and what I, I realized is that, okay, uh, for our eyes, actually the more yellow light is more comfortable. Okay, um, it's, it's, I will feel it's a very personal... Um, opinion really in terms of uh, lighting uh, and if it feels better with uh, warm lighting I, I, I feel that you can invest on a uh, table lamp be much better um, I would think we need to really weigh out the pros and cons uh, number one is if it's uh, you know energy efficient um, you know how, how do you how does it fit into your house yeah yeah, yeah. I, I would say uh, it's more of the color, the, the luminance of the light, not so much of the type of light. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you Thank so much you. for the sharing. Yeah. And do you have any questions from the floor before we close the session? 
Do you have any? Okay, if there's no questions, uh, yep. actually we have questions and we actually have some gifts wow. to give out too. Wow, something um, very interesting. So, right, coming if you've got no questions for me, I'll have a few questions for wow. you. Wow, like okay. a teacher. <laughs> yes, okay. So, you want to go ahead? Yeah, but okay, so now this is open to everyone here. Not yet, uh, everyone here, including the FB Live one. Okay, so um, whoever will get answer the question, then you will get one. We have a mysterious prize here over here. This is a tumbler. Yes. Okay, so I will. Pass it to you first. Later, oh, okay. we'll give it to the winner. Okay, okay. So now, and all the friends from FB Live, you know what? If you know the answer, you can always put down your questions down there, and our admin will pick the the, the lucky winner and we will deliver the prize to you. Eh? So now, the first question: What is the main source of UV? Anyone here? Yes, over there, lady. The sun. The sun. Very good. Is it correct? Yes. Congratulations, the sun. Thank you so much. The main source of UV is the sun. All right. Okay. So. Second oh, question, second getting more question. challenging. What is the main source of the blue light? Anyone? Okay, what is the main source of blue light? Okay, do we have anyone here? Okay, sir, yes. Let me go there. Gadgets. 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 Um, um, I... Um, yeah, yes and no. <laughs> yes and but no. It is a source of blue light, but it's not the main source of blue yep, light. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Or why not? I, why not we give an option A and B okay. so that they can quickly uh, know what is the answer? Yep. Okay, so option A and option B. Yep, A. A would be again. Give a bit hint. Um, is the same as UV. Oh. A, option A, A it's option a, a, almost the same as UV, uh, okay. the, the source. Option B, um, blue, blue light. Blue. <laughs> no, okay. I, so, I think I've given the answer, yeah. right? So, option A, I will say uh, in a in yeah. a, in a in Do you want to try again? <laughs> yeah. Option A, it's sun. Option B, gadget. What is the answer, sir? Sun, yes. Congratulations. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. We will deliver the prize to you later. Okay. Yeah, just there you go. You the prize. Thank yeah, you so much. thank you, thank you. Okay. And so, ladies and gentlemen, yeah. yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. The last one, the last question, uh. So I'm not so sure on the FB live, do we have any one comment down there? If yes, I mean yeah, yeah. Uh, just just keep it go. I mean because we will deliver a prize to you. And the last question. The okay. last question. Okay. How, How can we protect our eyes from UV and blue violet lights? Yep. Now this is a very open uh, question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, How do we so, protect the eyes? From all the UV and blue light. Yes, there you go. Wear sunglasses. Very Wear. good. <laughs> Wear sunglasses. Yes. There you go. Congratulations. Okay. A very, very brilliant answer. Thank this is you one so of it. much. Thank you. Do you want to enlighten us a few more methods to actually protect the eyes? Okay, so of course. Um, very okay. Yeah, our friend here is also wearing contact lenses. Mm, yep. So if you get the correct brands, uh, good good quality lenses, they also provide UV protection. Oh, yeah. Uh, of course, and our like we mentioned earlier, our Crisal lenses yep. all come with hundred percent UV protection as well as blue light filtering. Okay, so uh, you know, and also photochromics, uh, yep. the transition lenses. So please, 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 uh, really, really come down here and get your eye tested. Okay, and really yep. have a full consultation with All the right. experts here. Yep, okay. exactly. All right, so once again, ladies and gentlemen, this is here, the FB Live sessions that brought to you by Focus Point. And you know what? To all the friends on the FB Live, you know what? We are having this, a very special root show. This is the 360 Advanced Primary Eyes Care root show here at One Utama. Okay, and today is just the second day and it will be all the way until 7th of May. So if you have some time, sir, um, throughout the weekend, feel free to drop by here to check it out yourself because all over here we have a very special uh, ice, um, ice, ice care program, you know, yes. the eye scanning program, eye screening program where you can do all the checking for your eyes. Okay, this is very, very important. Okay, so once again, my name is Jackson and you are Hannah. All right, we will <laughs> see you again later on at 3 30 for the next FB Live. Thank, right. you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. And thank you to all the friends here. Thank, thank you. you.